let's 3D print and build this LED mood lamp. I just recently received a brand new printer, 3D printer, and I decided to need a project to test it out, uh, run it through the paces, something substantial. And so I designed this mood lamp uh, that is made, obviously, except for the electronics, completely out of filament. Uh, in this case, I'm using clear ABS for the top and dark ABS for the bottom. Connects via Wi-Fi. I'm able to control it via an app where I can set the different colors. The colors don't come out that great with the camera. In real life, these are brilliant colors. You can flip through any of the colors. You've got a color wheel. You've also got mood lighting where you can set up and select different moods. Uh, you can create custom palettes and you can also set it up to where it simply operates, changes colors and flickers to music as well. And so the app's really handy. If you choose not to use the app, uh, in addition, there is a physical remote control that comes with it as well. It's wired, but it's got a power switch, a brightness switch. You're able to um, flip through some modes and colors as well using this. And as you can see, it's designed to be stuck somewhere if needed. To build this, you're going to need some parts. And obviously, to start off with, you'll need the lighting kit. And you can choose other lighting kits. There's another, nothing really specific about this one. But if you want to choose the one I have here, I've got a link in the description of the video that you can follow that'll show you exactly what I purchased and what I used here. Of course, you'll need to 3D print the parts. Here's the lampshade. This is gyroid infill with the top, bottom, and walls set to zero. It's simply infill. In addition, you'll have to print out the base. It's included in the link. It's simple. This is what will wrap the LED lights around. And then you'll also need this little cord holder to tie down the cable so it doesn't pop off or fall out of the lamp. All of this really needs to be done in PETG, ABS, or ASA. Um, the heat that gets generated is too much for PLA. You'll need a couple of heat set inserts um, for that cable tie down so it has a nice secure connection to the base. And you'll also need a couple of M3 screws, bolts, in this case hex bolts, to go along with it that ties it all down. And you can adjust the size of those bolts depending on the cable. Probably want to add some self-adhesive um, silicone rubber feet so it doesn't slide around on the table or desk. And I've got links to these as well. I decided to use this as a practical project for my brand new Chitty printer. And I think it's perfectly suited sidewise. It's fast. And so far in all my tests, it's been a great printer. As I was filming, of course, I left the front door open, I wanted to get a better picture, and this print actually partially warped. And this is my fault, not the printer's fault, um, but you can see some of the interesting layer lines because of the warpage. But in the end, it really didn't affect the print in terms of uh, it still worked just fine and was fully functional. My assumption is when you print this, you won't leave the door open, the interior will stay warm, and the object will not warp. And for the rest of this video, I'm going to go quiet and just let action speak louder than words. It's really simple. Thank you.